I am so proud to vote, vote for capital gains today. I'm so excited to start building equity into our tax code. This proposal is not just about raising revenue speaker, but about how we raise that money and from whom we raise it and how we spend it. Washington tax code is the most upside down in the nation, dead last, number 50, which means the poorer you are in our state, the more you pay in taxes. And the richer you are, the more we let you just go by and not have to contribute at all. Today, we start to change that. Today, we start to find balance. The lowest income neighbors in our state pay six times as much of their share in taxes and yet need our support. And year after year, we fall short because we don't have enough revenue, which means while Oregon invests almost $9,600 per resident to every person in their state, we only give 5,800. We continue to fall behind. We need to support working families. And this is the start to doing that. And the reason I know this won't hurt working families is because working families in the middle make $75,000 a year. And we're making sure everyone is exempt from this tax up to three times that much at $250,000 a year. Let me be clear, Speaker. Where I live in the 37th and in King County, we will proportionally be most of those 8,000 out of 3.2 million taxpayers in Washington state who will make enough profit from money that makes money to pay this tax. And they overwhelmingly support this tax. And I'm ecstatic because of the way we're going to spend this money. My neighbors in King County paying their share is going to make sure that a preschooler in Walla Walla gets to go to preschool and have what she needs to be prepared for kindergarten. It means a middle schooler in Vancouver is gonna have that school counselor who's gonna help them achieve what they need to achieve to go on to high school and figure out where they're moving in life. And it means that someone who for the first time is thinking about college and Cheney will make sure that they have a scholarship to get them there. Because we are investing in our education legacy trust, the place where we make sure every child in Washington state has what they need to have the education that is our constitutional privilege and honor and paramount duty to give them. Well-earned money from our neighbors needs to be well stewarded and well invested. And that's why now is the perfect time for us to join the 43 other states that have a capital gains and invest in our children. Thank you for joining me in voting yes.